Angela, we've ju you've just won the uh, second Arga race of the season on uh, Kicks for Free here at Barbary Castle. Can you just tell us how the race unraveled for you, please? Yeah, Steady and get blown because he had a bad call and he'd ask you to have daylight to see his way. And coming down back the second time, I'm still thinking one in front is going fairly well, and I'm moving up there because he's fallen roughly in front too far out. <laughs> um, but he's, in, he's run a real good race and he's come all the way home. He's just looking at this race long enough, but they would do here very often. So, now, it, takes, it takes a good horse to win around here. How, how good would that horse be? How do you think it handled the final? Yeah, and that's, and we had him as a vet, and we were very good for a bit. I think we've handled it fine. We, we, that was our aim last year, but I'm a bit difficult about saying aims after that happened. So <laughs> we'll take it one race at a time. Angela, how many point to point well, winners do you think you've written? I think that's 78. down to one left. So. 78 winners, so you've got plenty of experience. Yeah. Now, are, are you any good at cooking? What, what, would you be, what would you cook on your Arga when you win, when you win it? Uh, I'm not the basic cook. I think the moment I forget to beat them. Oh, I see. <laughs> so an Arga would be very nice. You think it would fit in your cottage all right? Yes, very much. That's so. they, you know they come in lots of different colours. Yeah, what colour would you have? That goes. You, that, that would go with your kitchen, yeah. would it? Okay, Angela, thanks so much for talking to us today.